Here is a fixed format RPG program. The program name is City Data 1, as you can see right here, and it contains traditional specs, nothing that you should not recognize. You see there's an F spec here, a couple of D specs. Here I have an output file called City Data 1. It's obviously a disk file. I'm doing a rename of my record format to City Data R. Here are some data structures. Here's a qualified data structure. And as you scroll down, or as I scroll down, I have a, a, quite a few, a, a, quite a few. I have four standalone fields defined over here. With, here's what initialize over here. And right below that is the, or are the calc specs, which begin with a slash free. This, however, the city data 1G, now is the same exact program, but this is now in the new free format RPG. And I think this is a lot nicer. It's a lot easier to read, in my opinion. Uh, the fact that I'm using RDI, the latest version of RDI, makes this so much more usable. If you are using green screen SEU, you will not get the same support that I'm about to show you here. Green screen SEU for this, for this RPG is simply, in my opinion, completely unusable. Let me show you what you need to get started with this. The first thing you need is the latest version of RDI, and that is 9.0.1. I'll show you that by coming down help about IBM RDI, and sure enough, this is version 9.0.1. This is the one that you need. If you're using anything, even version 9, but an earlier version of 9, you will not get the freeform support. So definitely you want 9.0.1. If you, are, if you do have active maintenance, you, sh you are entitled to the update for free, so take advantage of that. You can also see here immediately that I have all different colors because, again, R uh, RDI 901 does understand the new syntax and it will respond accordingly. So I'm going to now put these two programs side by side for a better look at what, I'm, what I have here. Now, the first thing you might notice is that I don't have an F spec, I'm sorry, an H spec on this line, on this side over here. And the H spec has been, re been replaced with a control options or control opt statement, as you can see on the right side here, control opt. Really, the only thing that's changed, as far as I can tell, is the control opt or the H itself. The keywords are, by and large, all the same. So that, that makes for the, a very simple conversion to an H spec. The F spec here has now been replaced with a declare file or declare F spec, if you will, or declare F um, statement. Here is here is city data one output again, described externally, and here is the the new freeform equivalent of that. So here's my declare F. Here's my my file name city data one. It's a disk file that's described externally again. They've made quite a few. They being IBM, they've made quite a few what I call very good assumptions on with the language. For example, this disk keyword right here, this disk ext, first of all, all, all files are now assumed to be disk files. So I can omit this I can omit this entire section right here and it will work just as well. The compiler will understand that. Actually ext is even option. I can just have the word disk there if I if I like or I can I can do the full the full format, the full layout of it, if you will, of disk ext. The usage is a new keyword as well. And here I have output that, of course, replaced this O right here. But really, the keyword section on the old F spec, the values in there are basically the same. So here you see a rename. I only have one file in this program, but you're going to see that as you go through your, your programs, with different types of keywords, that the keywords will almost be identical, if not identical. So that's a good thing. Uh, as we go down this source code over here, you'll notice that I have some data structures. Once again, here's a data structure, a qualified data structure called cities. And that has a subfield called city data, that which is a like DS of city data DS, which with a dimension of two. Here is city data DS. So you can see that right there. And here is the freeform equivalent of that. So here is my declare data structure statement. Here's my, my cities 
my, my data structure uh, name is cities qualified. Here's my subfield again, city data like the yes. It looks basically the same. Declared data structures do is now considered a control block, if you will. And because it is a control block, very similar to an if statement or an, a, a select statement or a do, a do or a for, you need to have an, an end to that control block. So if, end if, do, end do, declare ds, end ds. And if you don't have that, the compiler will not produce an object for you. It will give you an error, a compiler error. You also might notice that I have every line here ends with a semicolon. Again, that's necessary because the compiler needs to figure out where one line en uh, where one line ends and the next one begins. So semicolons are now required th throughout even these these declare statements over here. Here's my next declared DS, which is my city data DS. Here's my qualified. You know, one thing I like about the new RDI is because it does understand the new free format, the content assist does work quite nicely. So I'll, I'll just insert some blank lines here. And if I come down right here, if I type in, let's say, declare DS, control space is content assist. And you see that it's asking me for a name. So if I just type a name here, any kind of name, I'll call it my, my DS, just for my DS, just for fun. Control space again will bring up will bring up the next content assist. And because this is cursor sensitive, it understands that the next logical thing here would be a couple of key words, for example. And here they are. And here are all my key words that I can put in here very, very easily. If I wanted to put, let's say, qualified, I can click on qualified. If I click, just click on it one time, I do get more help text about that keyword, just like this. You can see how it appears. If I were to double click on there, that's going to bring it right up into the line of code, which is quite nice. You can also see that it immediately and it immediately added the end DS. And that's called control block, automatic control block uh, completion. If you wanted to uh, stop that, and I actually I'm not a big fan of that. When I type an if statement in or a do statement, my personal preference is that it, it does not supply the end statement for me. That's a, that's easily uh, changed. There, you want to go to RPG preferences. So here's my quick access window in RDI. I'll just type in RPG. Now, because I was already in the RPG preferences, you can see it came up as previous choices. But if it's not already there, you want to go to IBM I parses. And when you click on that, these are the preferences that are available in RPG, in ILE RPG. And there is that feature right there, automatic closure of control block. If I were to uncheck that, just like that, and say OK. So now I come back down here. If I would type in declare, whoops, declare DS. Here's my name again. Just some, just some junk there. I'll put my qualified again, put in a semicolon. And when I hit enter, you notice that my NDS or an or NNDS was not added automatically. And this is the way I prefer. This is my personal preference. The whole point of RDI is to really customize the editor so it makes sense to make you the most productive. So my preferences may or may not match yours. And that's and that's perfectly fine, obviously. Uh, a couple of things before we end this, this is a short little video here. If I were to have a couple of subfields, for example, if I would have a, a, a subfield with the name return, and I call it, and let's say it was char 10, this would give me a problem. And when I go to compile that, and the, the reason why it would give me a problem is because return is obviously a an RPG reserved word, obviously return. So but, uh, for the most part, I can have all my subfields here. Here's sub one, and I don't need any other type of qualifier on it, just like this. Here's sub two. Whoops, here's, I can say this is char 3, doesn't make a difference. But that return statement will give me trouble. So I need to add a, a new special qualifier to that. And that's going to be with the declare subfield. And now that will work properly. That will now properly compile. Again, the purpose of that is so the compiler does not, does not get confused. I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's a real quick, quick dive into using new freeform RPG with RDI. You need to really play with this because RP the new freeform is really great. 
and I, I will tell you one last thing. The way I learned this, the best way I learned freeform RPG, was just to start playing with it and take one, take a program and literally t- take one line at a time and just recode it. Because after you've done that for two or three programs, that's how you begin to really internalize the new specs. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little video, as I said, and look forward to speaking with you again. Bye now.